with the addition of, of Mason coming here now, does that kind of signal that Robin won't be back? No, of course not. Well, how would, how would you describe the last you know, two days as far as making the trade for one a week? Unless we're all going to watch Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> How would you categorize the last two days? Of you making well, look, we have a lot of we have a lot of business we got to take care of, Jabari. You know, when we've got almost you know, we've got double digit free agents, um, we don't have we don't control all these situations. You know, while they're bird players and um, a lot of them have indicated their desire to be back in Portland, it doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to be able to retain their services. So, like I said, when you can get a young, you know, Mason is a guy that walks both worlds. Right? I mean, this is a guy who has started on a very good team. You know, he's played on Team USA. He's capable of being a starter, but he's also capable of being a very high-end backup if, you know, if in free agency we go another route and get a starter, be it Robin or anybody else. But, um, but like I said, it, it's our job to prepare for eventualities and build the roster. So these last 48 hours, we think we've made great progress in setting up the roster for next fall. Do you anticipate Noah and Pat being involved in uh, Summer League? Yes, absolutely. Please use microphones. Any other questions? Yes. Um, uh, I apologize if I mispronounced his name, but uh, the trade for, for Diaz, um, mm -hmm. Utah Jazz, uh, just explain the, the thought behind that. He's a really good player. Um, it may be his plan. Going we, don't have, uh, we don't have any European rights guys. You know, we had traded them uh, most of their rights away um, in acquisitions for Thomas Robinson and Robin Lopez. Uh, we liked him as a player. Um, our, you know, our international director of international scouting, Aloysia, is here. He can answer any specific questions. He'll be available to you guys for one-on-ones if anybody wants any more specifics. But he was very high on our international board. Um, he shoots the ball exceptionally well. Uh, he's a good athlete. He's a tough kid. He's a really good player. Um, and we just felt like it was an opportunity. You know, we're, we're very blessed to have an owner like Paul who's willing to put cash in play to go acquire basketball related resources. You know, that's, you know, it's not completely unique, but, but it's a great luxury that we have that we can acquire basketball players without giving anything up. And, you know, to just go in with cash and buy a pick for a player like Diaz, whether he, whether he comes over this year or a year from now or two years from now, it helps restock our pool of talent, not just on our roster, but in terms of our rights. And uh, summer league for him? Uh, we'll see. Um, he's a free agent. We'll see if he comes over. Um, he can either come over, he can stay over. Some of that's yet to be determined, but like I said, Aloysia is here, and if you have any questions about Diaz in terms of specifics, the kind of year he had in Spain, uh, the competition level he played against, his teammates, um, the kind of style of play he has, um, Aloysia is probably more educated on, on it than I am. I mentioned uh, Lopez and Aldridge. What about Weston Matthews? Were you still pursuing him? Guys, we're not going to talk about free. I can't talk about free agency. You guys have seen this. Every GM has asked about this. Every GM says we cannot discuss free agency. We cannot express interest. We can't talk about matching offer sheets. We can't do anything. Okay, we had this conversation back in May. Okay, this is a draft trade related conversation. Come July 1st, you guys can all beat me up when I don't do exactly what it is you guys want me to do or perceive I should do. Until then, we're going to enjoy the fact that we've had 48 really good hours building this roster. 